first talk of 2022, right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Um, well done us, I guess. I don't know. I was just compelled to make this, just, like, at a whim. Sometimes I have that. Sometimes I'm just like, I need to make a talk, like, right now. And then I go and be really depressed. So why is it always me when I'm super depressed? Like, why why isn't there, like, a, any, any, like, sporadic, excited talks? Why is it always like, oh, I need a talk. I'm so depressed. And no, it's just the post Spyro fan fictions hit hard. All right. And I don't even know how, I don't even know how. It's literally this is like the third time it's hit and I was pl- I was planning it this time. Like this is this was the goal. But I'm still just like I'm still just flabbergasted that it's it's all over now. I've uh <laughs> I it, and it's so uh, yeah, like I say plan like I I planned it down to the T like today was meant to be like all right just just finish that up and then we'll listen to some Eurobeat because <laughs> that's what I that's also what I did uh, in 2019 New Year's <laughs> and that that's sort of like my end credit song <laughs> of uh, of Spyro fanfics and uh, it just yeah that it just brought and brought out that feeling again i don't i don't even know if it was the eurobeat that just like that like cures it well, not really cures like as in like a, a cures together like some sort of like formula or something i don't know <laughs> but it just uh yeah god and maybe it maybe it's the weather today maybe it's cuz it's so gloomy i don't know i just look outside and i feel just sadness <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for starting out the year well, on I just um well I mean it's it's the sixth so not quite like the start of twenty twenty two but tis uh, the first one since New Year's Eve, which um I don't even remember what happened then anymore but um yeah um I just I guess I just want to talk about how it feels. It's strange. It's like it's. I guess it's just, I guess it's pretty normal, it's like missing, it's like missing something, you know, I don't know, I mean, I can't really explain it down to the T, like I said in my previous videos, whenever I have a saying on, on my mind, I just keep on using it, but it feels, it feels like they're super far away, it just, and I'm, I've thought about it, and I think it is because of, um, because of how it ends. Because, like, you know, normally all, uh, all, what you call it, all sort of fandoms, all sort of communities and stuff, all, um, all stories sort of get an end. But this, like, obviously, residual, du- residual darkness, that didn't quite end very, uh, that ended very abruptly, well, it's not even, it's really weird, because I wasn't like, oh my goodness, this is, this is very loud, I just realized I need to turn this off, because I realized that my voice recorder actually records the sound if my, uh, if my volume is on, which isn't good, because then I can't, I can't change the volume of the game afterwards, but, yeah, basically how Residual Darkness ended was, um, the author just decided to, uh, write, like, uh, write, because she was sort of just, um, completely done with it, um, which was pretty, pretty reasonable, seeing as the epilogue that she wrote, uh, to compensate for, um, for the abrupt end, that sounded like it would have been just, (laughs) honestly, I reckon it would have been, like, another three years dedication to the story, which I would, I would personally dread very much, but, um, yeah, just, everything was just explained in a little epilogue, and, uh, wrapped up then and there, it it was still in story form, which is kind of weird, you sort of did uh, get an idea of the world, um, well, what it was then, and, 
and um, you actually have like the characters talking about it, like not just like a not just like a narration of what happened afterwards, but actually characters talking about what happened, which is kind of cool. But it it just it feels really it feels just really uh, just I don't know how to explain it. Just like far away. Like you don't you don't get any sort of reactions from any of the other characters of everything that's left to happen. You don't you don't really get to see any of them. Well, you don't you don't get to see any of them after that anyway, because the story's over and it just it feels like they might as well have all like died in the story. I know that that's probably a bit harsh, but that that's what it feels like that. They might as well have all just been like killed in this in the plot line, and you're just left feeling like, well, that's just uh, um, I don't I don't even know, I don't even know if that would have been it would have been a uh, better, but it just feels like like I don't know all of them, well obviously, this is just what I felt every single time I I came to this, uh, every single New Year's. Uh, came went came to the end of the story, but it's just that they're never going to be a thing again. They're never like, cause it, it it's like it's like the endings of a small like a a small sort of thing. It um it doesn't have anything left to to sort of carry on its legacy, I guess. Cause like I don't know, you know, you have big fandoms like My Little Pony that ends, but then you're like, oh, it's fine, because everybody's going to keep on keep on doing it. I mean, yes, there's a Spyro, Spyro is still a thing. The Legend of Spyro is still a thing, but all the uh, Mr. Ristic's characters, uh, I, I know I've been speaking like a, like some sort of critic or something, but, yeah, basically, um, all, all the Mr. Ristic's characters, they're not all, they're all, uh, never going to be used again as she does as she as she has said she's never planning to write with those characters again and uh no one's really gonna well no one's bothered yet unless i'm missing like a a huge deviant art community uh to continue on their legacy and uh yeah that's just how it is with small projects when once they end once they end they are pretty much that's, that's yeah that's there that's the end of that and then you can't get any more of anything and it's just uh it's just sad it's just sad like that <laughs> but that's that's like that's i don't know that's not entirely like cuz i i feel like if the story had ended normally i don't know i feel like that would be reduced a bit i just think the epilogue, whilst it does explain the rest of the plot, it's not it's not much more pers it's not much more personal than an actual ending, because yeah, like I said, the characters you don't get to see like any other, any other sort of reactions and stuff. I mean, they talk about like yeah, okay, so this character felt this way and stuff, but you don't actually get to like get to know like what they what they were like personally, I guess. So that's just a uh, that's just I guess the most the main uh the main sort of issue I guess well not not like uh not like it's uh, uh, uh what's it um how do you how, 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 I don't even know <laughs> not like it's um changeable <laughs> but yeah just um just, I guess, if those characters did exist now still, it just feels like they've all, they've all just been wiped out, and then, and, and then, oh my goodness, what, I'm not seeing that, um, and then there's just, oh yeah, I am on Minecraft, by the way, I haven't, <laughs> not a, not a thing has been said, I'm back mining my, my obsidian floor that I left specifically for this video for some reason, I just felt like this, this seems like an hour-long task, <laughs> but, yeah, um, that's gonna, that's gonna come down in maybe a, a day or two, I don't know, but also, like, not even, not even just the end of that made me feel sad, I, I guess it, like, 
I just, like, the whole, the whole vibe was just sad, I don't know, like, I sort of forgot about everything, like, now, and I did feel really nostalgic, am I, like, nostalgic for when I was sad, is that, is that what's happening here, I don't know, I just felt like 2019 New Year's, and I was, I just, I just put out a, put out a new, a new journal, giving people free commissions, and I was ready to, to go back to school, just, just, uh, and do, like, art, like, a part-time thing, and, and it was just, it was a, it was a great big vibe in 2019, and, and, uh, it just felt like that today, and, I don't know, I guess, like, like, oh, how naive I was back then, (laughs) how blissfully ignorant I was, it just felt like, uh, like, the simpler days, to put it simply, and, um, yeah, I think that, that's sort of, that's sort of another big part of, uh, of my sadness, my, my dwindling happiness, (laughs) but, yeah, I mean, I'll get over it, I, I always do, yeah, and also, also, like, just the, just the journey, I guess, I think maybe this time, it's because I didn't binge it that hard, I actually took, like, maybe, uh, two, two and a half weeks to get through it, so, so it was, like, a huge journey, it was, like, a oh, right, well, we were here, and now we're here, and that took so long, and then now it's over, and, like, oh, well, now we're here, and, uh, the journey's over, you know, just everything that's happened, but now it's just nothing's, nothing's left anymore, and so, sad times, <laughs> but, yeah, um, it's, it'll, oh, rectify, that's what I was gonna, that's what I was thinking about, not the other one, (laughs) um, but, yeah, um, rip, rip flame, (laughs) last, last year, I was feeling a lot, a lot more apathetic for him, for some reason, I guess, uh, he was pissing me off last year or something, I don't know, (laughs) oh, yeah, he does a bit, but, um, honestly, like, I don't know, every single year I seem to get new meanings from, from the, from the stories, maybe I'm just bored, like, oh, I know these, I know these plot lines, well, let's, like, overanalyze it, but honestly, this year, I, I think I, I enjoy it so much more, like, last year I, I sort of enjoyed it, because, okay, well, the plot works and everything, but, like, this year I can really tell just, like, just how much, sort of, planning, and just, like, actual, uh, actual decision-making, I guess, went into writing the story, because, like, there's, there's parts where you're annoyed, but, like, you absolutely, like, the characters are just, like, like, completely realistic, like, there's, there's parts where you're like, oh, no, why would they do that, but they like, nine times out of ten, they would do that, if you get, if you get what I mean, it's just, everything makes so much sense, unlike, unlike in the first book, um, where there was actually plot holes, and st- I mean, like, I wasn't exactly, uh, comparing, I wasn't exactly, uh, putting down everything, uh, to the T, <laughs> again, I wasn't exactly, um, paying so much attention to, like, oh, god, right, let's, uh, let's, I wasn't, like, in front of that stringed whiteboard or something, trying to figure out all the, all the characters' arcs and stuff, but, uh, but, like, I mean, yeah, that's sort of how you, yeah, that's just how you enjoy books, you, you just, like, listen to it casually, or read it casually, <laughs> in other people's cases, um, and, and with that, I couldn't, really single out any plot plot holes or anything that's that's like that's like character blunders or something because like everything everything that everyone does is just completely justified even when it seems like even when it's like oh wow that's such a dumb thing to do but then you realize okay right because of circumstances they are like that (laughs) so i don't know uh it, I guess I just respect that a lot, that, um, that this, 
uh, something so, I guess, uh, oh, what's the word again, something so, um, well, not the word, I not rectified, um, <laughs> just something with so much, I guess, planning is the best way I can think of right now, I can appreciate it, basically, and uh, it makes it all the, all the more sadder to see it go. I'm honestly, like, highly, I'm highly, like, considering, like, doing some fan stuff for it now. Whether that be, like, maybe writing another chapter or, or making, like, a comic for it or something. I don't know. I'm just super considering it now that I'm just completely uh, done with it. Because there's nothing left for me um, until next year, of course. But then, then it's just me listening to that again, nothing new, no, it's just, uh, it's just sad, it's just sad that there's nothing left, there's nothing new that's ever going to happen with that, but, yeah, um, I think, I think that's enough sadness, I do, I do love, I do love that entire, uh, saga, even the first book, while, whether, well, while it's not quite the most, uh, well-written piece of literature, it's certainly uh, a very nostalgic and um, just simple, si si simpler days one. <laughs> I guess that's just nostalgic, yeah. Uh, I can appreciate that one too, but uh, yeah, the second one beats it by miles. The second one actually can, like, stand on its own. I do, I do think it's like, it, it would be like a, a nice canon, I think. <laughs> Like, I wouldn't mind it if it was canon. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty legitimate, I think. But yeah, I, I think that's enough of that. <laughs> um, have I made my point? Have I made my made my case uh, towards towards Spyro fanfics? Do you guys, are you guys gonna take this up as a, <laughs> as a uh, New Year's tradition again? Uh, not a... <laughs> from now on, <laughs> um, yeah, I just, uh, I really enjoy it, but, uh, the, the feeling it leaves me with, it's, it's melancholy, melancholy is, like, sort of, sort of all right, right, it's, like, bittersweet, um, but, yeah, uh, now that that's done, <laughs> we can move on, I think my next, <laughs> I've still got a, I've still got a, uh, a, what's it, a tradition, well, that I made, like, just last year, well, in 2021, um, <laughs> which lasts into, like, lasts since, like, February or something, which is listening to the Lumineers and smelling lavender scent, <laughs> I don't know, that's just, that's just something that I did in, in 2021, at the start of the year, I don't know, I was just big into Lumineers, because, oh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I was even talking about it then, oh, was I, when, when, I wonder when I, uh, when I made the 50th episode, I think, well, that's when I made the switch from making really, really, uh, weird content, weird talks, talking about weird stuff in my talks, to just being sort of semi-normal, but, um, I'm pretty sure that was at the start of year, year 10, which is 20, 20 wait, was that? No, 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 I'll start, start at year 11, which is last year, yeah, 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 but, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I talked about that, <laughs> talked about, uh, Lumineers, um, at that time, because I was really obsessed with Ophelia, which, uh, honestly, I'm ready to get back into, I'm really, I'm ready to get re-obsessed in, and I need my lavender scent, and, uh, will be golden <laughs> for the next, oh my god, I can feel it now, it's just, me and my stupid, like, like, I hope this isn't, like, <laughs> I hope this isn't, like, repulsive, I don't, like, like, obsessive, I don't know, like, I'm just, I, I don't know what's, like, what would you call me, like, <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm just thinking about a bunch of things right now, I don't even know what's going on anymore, what, what would you call me, like, am I just obsessive? I think, I think that's how it is, <laughs> I think that would be a fitting description, because I can't, I cannot stop with these stupid dreams, it, <sighs> why, like, am I, are my years really becoming that sad, that I have to relive past years over and over again, I don't understand it, like, why am I so obsessed with the past, 
why don't I just like, oh, you know, let's try something new this year. Let's, uh, let's go. I mean, mm, I, I do, but it's not planned. I guess I plan these sort of things. In the future, if I ever want to, want to do this stuff again, I feel like I'm, I would totally just do, uh, like snippets of it. Like, I might come down here, mine like a, a like a, a quadrant of my basement whilst listening to like a specific snippet of Spirit of like um residual darkness or to tears of an oracle and just like spend like a like a like half a week on it or something i don't really want to <laughs> i don't really want that to be the whole of my my uh my time my um my holiday traditions because that <laughs> it just takes way too long and i did find myself forcing it sometimes even though i was still enjoying it it's uh it was still a bit like oh well i kind of want to do something else right now but spyro fan fiction it is i mean i did that last year so eh, nothing new but yeah um i just i want to cut down on that and maybe just chill from now on god what, what what is even what is what is taking me back there still what is still making me so obsessed about that stuff to make me go back over and over again. Well, I mean, it's this, isn't it? This project that's been happening for the past, well, nearly three years, I reckon. Um, which I, I don't know, I just have a certain passion for. Because it's so, it's so mind-numbingly simple. Like, I'm just sitting here digging away blocks, and then, like, afterwards I have to replace them. And it's just, it's just a, a pretty nice and easy uh, task that I can do talks to as well, and it just draws me back here. Is that, but is this why I do the, I do the traditions? Is this why I'm, I always go like, okay, right, well, I want to break some blocks in the basement, time to go listen to that stuff. Um, I don't know, I feel like I do, I do have a certain um, a certain desire for it when it comes to the holidays. It's just, uh, a really, um, relaxing sort of thing. And I, I do, I get excited. I, I get excited about it. So it's no, it's, uh, no harm, no foul. Um, so yeah, I'll continue on <laughs> till I get bored or till Miss Aristics comes back and I could finally start listening to her, uh, her, her, well, I, I don't know, I normally, if I'm to, if I'm reading, if I'm, uh, gonna read a book formally, I don't actually read it, I don't know if I, uh, I don't know if I follow through on that, actually, but, not mostly, if there's, like, something that I really wanna read, I, I don't, like, do voiceover for it, I don't use text-to-speech for it, and I just read it, I don't know if it, if it's, like, if it enhances the, uh, the, enjoyment of it but that's normally what I like to do so that mm, might not be helpful if she, if she keeps writing because I, I can't exactly mine this basement and read at the same time but yeah um, enough of that I think <laughs> just spire fan fictions have been the topic for the past <laughs> well ever since <laughs> ever since like I guess summer started when did summer start um like a month ago or something, I don't know, just, I, I can't stop talking about it, it's all, it's all that happens these days, really, and it's over, it's finally over, I mean, I, there's another one, but, <laughs> I don't know if I'll, I'll dig into that, um, oh, I mean, I could totally just, like, mine away another quadrant before the end of next, before the end of this year, <laughs> um, that can happen throughout the year, though, I'm not gonna rush on that, um, so yeah, that's gonna be all right, and, um, yeah, I guess, to, to move on the topic, um, what, what happened since, what happened since the last, well, there's, yeah, New Year's, um, and, uh, it was alright, <laughs> nothing really happened, bunch of fireworks, I didn't go out or anything, I was a bit sad, um, I did, however, two days ago, head out with friends to go to the city, but we didn't just go there, we rode there. It was one of those uh, journeys, not des not the destinations. It was good fun. Um, I rode my electric bike because I knew my friends needed it. Well, I don't, I don't. Well, yeah, in the end, they sort of needed it a bit, but it was good fun anyway. Um, I rode like a quarter of the way, and the rest I just lent my 
my electric bike to my friend's for and they had good fun on it. Oh, there was like a it was like a, a velodrome, <laughs> and my friend just like sped around it. Well, all my friends had to go on it, and it was I was just like um, uh, I don't really see the fun in that, but you do you. And yeah, we uh we rode to the city and back. We were pl oh my god, is that lightning? Oh, what's going on? I'm pretty sure that's a thunderstorm. It's just funny because it's supposed to be a thunderstorm like. <laughs> Oh my god, my weather, my, the weather forecast said, it's supposed to actually, um, <laughs> I don't know if I'm, if I'm giving it, oh no, it's fine, <laughs> I'm gonna like dox myself by talking about the weather forecast, <laughs> my weather, my weather forecast said it was gonna be like, thundering for the next, uh, like week or something, and literally like just today, it was like five minutes of, of rumbling, and that was it. <laughs> I was kind of getting afraid of um of that, but it's all it's all good. Nothing bad happened. But yeah, we did that. It was fun. Uh, we literally just went to the city to have eat something and then just head back. I mean, it it was about the journey anyway. And nothing nothing cursed happened. I I think anyway. I mean, it. My friend did vomit, but we were kind of expecting that. <laughs> It was a. It was in the. It was in the ride description, so it wasn't quite cursed anymore, because he has done that before. Um, but yeah, nothing. Nothing catas catastrophic happened, and I am. I am pretty happy with that. We actually did it in like in like a very like we did it super quickly. I, I think it was because we had small numbers. We had like six, five, six people. And most of us were pretty speepsy, so we uh, got there pretty quickly and uh, spent maybe an hour there or so and head home. And it was fun. Yeah, it's a good time. Um, it's pretty tired <laughs> because I rode my friends. I I'm honestly I don't even like. I I'm not even like lending them my electric bike. I just really want to try out different bikes because they all have a they all have a different feel. And like some bikes are so crips, crips, crisp. Like my friend's, my friend's bike. <laughs> like my friend's bike. Just like one of my friend's bikes, which I always trade with. Well, when I'm riding the electric bike. Well, just when I'm riding any of my bikes. Well, that isn't my normal one because he doesn't want to ride my normal one. Um, just whenever I'm riding my mountain bike or my electric bike, he always trades with me, and his bike is always so crisp to crisp to handle. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe, maybe it's just because of the. I think shorter handlebars, um, just give it a better handling. Just makes it feel like it's a better, better handling. I don't know if that's actually how it works, but it just feels so much more crisp. I guess that's all. That's the only way I can I can describe it. And yeah, some of my friends' bikes are also like. I just I guess all my friends' bikes are like that. My just my normal bike just feels so flaccid and rubbish to, to control. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, uh, that's yeah. That was that. So that was good. Um, I went out at some point. Uh, to my mom's friend's house to have a have a meal. It was basically what what a uh, what Christmas Eve should have been, but. <laughs> But I was actually there this time. Um, yeah, for, um, it's just a friend that I said my mom was going to uh, go to on Christmas Eve. And um, yeah, I didn't go then, but I did go afterwards. And it was, yeah, it was awkward because no one's my, like, they were all like old people. And I have no, I have no, uh, no, I guess nothing to... I don't know, I'm just a bit awkward, um, I'm so, like, desperate, though, when it comes to talking to people, like, I guess people my age, I'd be able to talk to a bit easy, easier, but I guess with, like, I guess with, like, adults, I can't talk with adults, I find, because, like, with, with, um, with people my age, I, I, like, because I have some mutual friends that I was at, uh, the, at the party with that I talk with about, um, where someone got really drunk, and, like, I don't, I don't really know them, but I can just talk to them like I'm their friend, but with adults, I have to really, like, pick my words, I guess, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I just really don't want to, like, talk weirdly with them, and, um, yeah, I just end up super nervous and hard to communicate, I don't know how, um, and <laughs> whenever I'm nervous, I, I stutter so badly, I can't, 
like, and I sound like such a robot. I got like the worst sentence structures in ever when I'm talking to talking to adults, and I just can't. I can't ever um just talk normally, and it's just awkward. But um, we get on. We we talk about stuff, and it was a good time. It was a good good night. Um, and I had fun. I had good fun, and uh, yeah. So that that was something that happened. Um, it's good dinner as well. It was like homemade stuff, and uh, it literally smelt like like a restaurant. It was lovely, but um, yeah. As well, I I only got like six hours sleep last night. It was brilliant. You want to know why? Because I <laughs> Ash uh organized this call, and I was like, and and I don't know. <laughs> the weirdest thing that motivated me to join was he he like tagged everyone in their time and their like their time time zones. And then, and then he tagged me, and he was like, oh, it's because I, I, uh, I, uh, I'm like, it's already, like, Thursday for me when it's Wednesday f- for all of them, and he pointed that out, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool, but no, um, the reason it was, was because it was 2.40 in the morning for me when, uh, they were calling, and I thought, you know what, um, like, because normally I wouldn't, I wouldn't join, because I normally just, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really that um sociable, I guess. Like I talk, I chat with them, but I never really wanted to, cause I never, I never really wanted to. Um, I don't know. Just back then, I always joined the calls, but like I was like um on silent and a uh, microphone off. I just joined the calls for like um for streams and stuff. I never really talked to them, but now they talk a lot more, and uh, I didn't really want to intrude. I guess even though we were like closer now, so we could just freely talk, so, it was fine, um, and I thought, yeah, might as well, uh, take this chance, (laughs) I don't know why I would, um, take the chance where I would be completely, I thought it would be funny, alright, I thought I would be, like, I'd be, like, in a drunk state, (laughs) and be, be more sociable, which wasn't too bad, um, I, I often found myself starting a sentence, and then, and then I'm just, like, um, yeah, there's no point, there's no point finishing it, <laughs> because they're just talking, and then there was a, and it was like, I keep talking about stupid stuff, like, it's literally to fill in, like, the silence or something, you know, because sometimes it do, it do be like that, where <laughs> I'm talking about stuff, and I've literally, I'm, my brain's going at a million miles per hour, but it's, like, on a treadmill, <laughs> and I just can't get anywhere, and my, I can't think of anything to say, I don't know why, well, it's mostly because I don't want to just talk about myself, you know, <laughs> It's a, because like, here, right, I can just go, oh, right, yeah, I did this, I did that, uh, I think it was cool, I think it was great, I think, uh, I would do it, I would do it again, but on there, um, I don't want to be like, oh, right, I think, uh, I think we should do, I think we should have this, and I, I, I feel like this, about this, because it's just, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why I, uh, why I don't really, because I guess it is interesting to them as well, just talking about me, <laughs> but I don't want to, I don't want to overdo it, so, I just, I keep quiet most of the time, um, because I don't have much else to say other than about myself, is that sad? Well, no, because I actually talk about other stuff as well, and it was also fun and a good time, I had had good fun, um, but I was in bed and sweating, I was sweating cobs, and, because I didn't want to, didn't want to be, uh, (laughs) I didn't want to say weird stuff, which I did end up saying, but it was fun, it was funny, and, um, we had a good time, and I ended up staying till five in the morning, <laughs> where, uh, actually, I won't, I won't say what we were doing, um, well, I will, we were playing, we were trying to play a, <laughs> we were trying to play a, a joint piano, uh, <laughs> how did it devolve into that, <laughs> I don't know, but, yeah, it was just, like, it was just, just filler at that point, like, oh, what should we do, let's just play a shared piano, and, and yeah, uh, at that point, I just, uh, uh, I had to go to sleep, and woke up at 11, fittingly, um, which, which is six hours, right, I'm not, yeah, that's six hours, I'm not crazy, um, and, uh, yeah, I was able to actually wake up pretty well then, for some reason, didn't even feel like going to sleep that much, but, yeah, um, after that, yeah, did the thing I said I was gonna do, and did, uh, which was play more Minecraft and listen to more Spyro fanfic. And then afterwards, I got depressed and watched some YouTube videos, and that was good fun. And I went to sleep because, um, well, I didn't really. I just napped a bit. 
I don't know, I don't know if I, w- I actually fell asleep or not. But yeah, um, I woke up all depressed and wanted to make this. <laughs> but yeah, um, other, other, otherwise, otherwise, other things, other things, um, other developments. The um, I finished the frames. I actually had a burst of a uh, motivation and actually did the thing and finished up the first frames for the for the walk cycle run cycle your character here raffles <laughs> that's a mouthful um what i found right what i this is this is just just absurd i am just i'm shaking and pissing right now but honestly i found the reason that i i honestly i was like really um really unmotivated to do them it was literally because of procreate i am going to reprimand that app for being so so mainstream because i just can't believe its functionality is this just rubbish i what what i did right i copied my uh i copied like the line the the line uh, the lining into the line art into sketchbook and I did the coloring in there, and it was so much like be- so much more bearable. Like I literally had the motivation to go. I don't know why I keep on making key shapes. <laughs> what am I insinuating? Why is that? <laughs> why is it just something that I'm like <laughs> doing? Like this satisfies me for some reason. <laughs> what on earth am I doing? Oh god, yeah. But honestly, I I got off Procreate did the coloring on sketchbook and then like copied it back onto procreate because that's just how much i was fed up with the stupid application and so i got the motivation to do it i did it finished all three uh all three pictures and uh got two replies so far and they were all a go and uh yeah they said sure just uh continue on and um yeah so all i have to do now is finish up their walk and run cycles and uh, well until the third person uh replies which i'm um i don't know i I did a few changes to the character it was so weird because they 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 had like they had nothing but like headshots and like the only full body they had was like an artist interpretation of their character so it wasn't it wasn't like accurate so i just stole a bit of that and also looked at uh, their headshots and sort of made something up with that so i'm not sure if they're going to be happy with it or if i'm going to have to change everything which is going to be a bit annoying, but I'll have to, um, so, yeah, whatever, um, I got a sudden, I got a sudden, uh, burst of motivation to just completely do it, like, I, I was thinking, like, maybe, right, just maybe, and it, this is completely possible, if I just completely, like, uh, I guess no life it, but I, I do have a life, really, um, well, I do, I don't know, what what would I be doing, though? Oh, I guess other stuff, other art stuff, I, I don't really want to be doing that, oh, my obsidian, no, oh god, I, it was just disappearing on me, that's unbelievable, I cannot let that happen, um, but yeah, oh god, this is bright, I need to turn on my light, because it just got really dark really quick, um, is my inventory full, it is indeed, alright, let's go put that stuff away, and uh, these mushrooms can go as well, um, what was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, I got a sudden burst of motivation for some reason that I, I, that I could possibly finish these finish these uh these cycles earlier uh till like the tenth of February. I know, like it went from I went from halfway through February, which which was the fifteenth to the tenth. That's that's a uh, that's my that's my goal. That's my uh big big uh big motivation uh, boost is to finish it five days earlier i mean yeah i think oh, if it if it isn't uh if it isn't completely like unbearable then i feel like uh i feel like I, i'd be able to do it but like yeah now now with uh now with uh my uh joint effort of procreate literally i just need procreate to um to flip through the frames, so I don't, okay, let me just open the light, because I'm literally in the dark right now, looking at a bright screen, it's not good, um, yeah, just, Procreate's literally just for flipping through the frame, so I don't have to, have to, um, put it in an editor, and, honestly, I could, uh, oh, no, but, like, you could see, like, yeah, onion frames and stuff as well, but I could totally do that on Sketchbook, can't I, yeah, but then I can't flip through the frames, which is just a bit awkward, Procreate's literally just, like, filling in the, 
it's just like the messenger at this point. It's awful. I hate it. Have I have I have I uh have I displayed my hatred for Procreate enough? I don't it's never enough, alright. I'm gonna keep on going on about it until they fix their app because I cannot stand it. I'm literally going to like go to like flip a clip before before Procreate gets anywhere nice. I just I despise it with all my life. Um But yeah, um yeah, uh, what's it, I think I'll be able to do that, um, just really go into sketching, and, uh, try to get stuff, um, done, try to <coughs> actually <sighs> spend some time on, uh, the sketches, and, uh, getting them done as quickly as possible, and at that point, um, lining shouldn't be too hard, and, uh, yeah, now that I, now that I can just, well, not, not that I couldn't before, but now that I have the, uh, the thought of coloring it in on sketchbook it would be a lot easier um and i can't imagine how long it would take uh well in a good way i guess uh in in the uh, in a good sense how long it would take to uh finish it which shouldn't be too bad planning to maybe um i don't know uh, from now feels like um uh 10 days maybe 10 days per cycle which is a bit, it's it's a bit confronting, like, oh my god, 10 days to sketch the rest of the, uh, the rest of the stuff, and line it, and colour it, all in 10 days is just a bit, I mean, the characters aren't equal, though, one of them I can literally do in, like, 5 days, I'd honestly bet, um, which is lucky, because, uh, well, not really that lucky, to be honest, because the other two are just incredibly detailed and difficult, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna push through. And do those just as how I interpreted them in the in the uh, sketch, which honestly, oh yeah, that's that's one frame, isn't it? So I got that cut out for me. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, um, I will be able to do that in ten days, I think. Oh god, well yeah, maybe like seven days for one, and then like two weeks for the other two. Uh, not that that's how math works, but. <laughs> it's something like that right and then yeah and it won't be too bad i'll actually have time to uh do other stuff as well i mean uh just like i realized like if i spend time on it when like just when i'm not doing anything i can totally just like get it done like completely like if i if i'm sitting there for two hours not doing anything which is a common occurrence su surprisingly <laughs> or unsurprisingly because of my my state, um, my, my, the state I live in, um, like, if I spent that time sketching or stuff, I could totally get, like, just, like, uh, I don't know, like, a big chunk of it done, instead of doing the, it's sitting there doing nothing, and it would be good, but just, uh, also sitting there and failing at drawing is also just a bit, a bit, uh, I don't know, a bit, um, a bit draining, so, I don't know, I mean, it's not much, it's not, it's not worse, is it, it can't be worse than sitting there doing nothing, so, yeah, um, I'm gonna have to put that, uh, in the back of my mind more, just, uh, actually, actually t use your time this time to do the stuff, and not just completely waste it, and, uh, yeah, actually be able to get some good work done, it would be lovely, it would actually be pretty reassuring that I could actually do, get some stuff done, um, but yeah, now, um, there's also another thing that I'm focusing on, uh, not even focusing on, just hoping to, hoping to do a bit, a bit, uh, a fair bit more on, which is sketching, oh wait, no, I talked about that already, have I? I don't think I have, um, sketching, I really want to do lineless stuff, um, oh, yeah, I talked about it. <laughs> Not lineless, uh, sketchless stuff. I did talk about that, didn't I? Yeah, um, I want to get good with the with the lines. And I realized I I, I, uh, I was introduced to another artist uh, that I some, somehow did not come across. I swear I've, like, conquered the whole community, but uh, apparently, apparently there's still, there's still people just hiding in the shadows. And they are really talented. Like, they, they their shapes and stuff are just on point, and they're so appealing. I love those, um, just super appealing sketches, just, like, the, the shapes are just perfect, and I don't know, like, I don't know what's wrong with mine that can't achieve that, I don't really un understand how, what I'm supposed to do to, uh, make it okay, to make it, uh, not look, 
uh, repulsive, I guess. Like, I, I don't know, like, there's art styles I look at, and I'm just like, yeah, okay, that's, that's a, that's a pretty cool drawing, but it's not, it's not really appealing in the way that I, I would, like, enjoy looking at it, because, like, there's things that I just constantly, like, I don't know, I think, I feel like maybe this is just, like, a new artist thing, like, uh, every single time I see someone new, I'm always like, oh, god, time to stalk them, and then I look at their, why is the moon inside my basement, get out of here, um, yeah, I just, god, this is trippy, though, <laughs> um, I always just go and look at their art, like, ten times a day for some reason, and just admire it, and it's really uh, motivated me to uh, sketch better. And it's also made me realize the error of my ways. I always... Okay, so a, a big thing I focus on in my drawings and my line art and stuff, it's always, like, super intricate... Not intricacy. Um, like, I guess just really, like, stupid decisions, stupid line decisions. Like, I, I'm always... Uh, worrying about, um, oh, right, well, uh, this line, it's their elbow, which way should it bend, uh, what shape should, should it take on, and every single time I'm looking for a certain shape, I'm always like, all right, um, sketch it, uh, nope, undo, sketch it, undo, sketch it, undo, and I, like, it takes me forever to settle on something, and in the end, it's not even that good, <laughs> um, but that's, that's, uh, that's si besides the fact, um, besides the point, actually, that's a, <laughs> even, um, what I realized is that all I really need is the idea, the, uh, if I, if the idea is there, then I think the goal is accomplished, because I normally, I normally just focus on a bunch of really obscure stuff, and then, takes me forever to draw one thing and in the end it's just like oh well you didn't really capture the idea so it's not even that great but if you really know what you're trying to capture if you know like like uh just sort of i guess the pose the that's really it the pose <laughs> if you know your pose if you know your anatomy then you can just just do the uh do the idea just put down the line so that it represents something instead of looks like something and then you have something that's sort of appealing i think i don't know <laughs> maybe maybe that's completely the wrong way i'm looking the wrong uh takeaway um honestly i'm kind of rethinking it right now um i guess like the right idea oh but then that's just like me being really strict on which way the lines bend and that's not that's no good I don't know, um, I just feel like I really need a, once I know, once I know, like, a formula for everything, then I can really just, like, settle, I could settle on lines just a lot easier, and, uh, it wouldn't be really, really, uh, really painstaking to draw a single line, because that is just my biggest, uh, enemy right now, my biggest blunder, my biggest, uh, weakness, is just undoing every single every single every single uh every single stroke and it takes me forever to get through a sketch to line it yeah it's just not at all fun so yeah once i once i uh what was the word what was the word rectify that um it would be all dandy i think um and it will also help with animation very much so yeah uh really really I'm I'm excited to do sketchless sketches, um, planless sketches, but also I I, I don't <laughs> I I'm way too scared to pick up the pencil because I know ah uh, I I really need to just fail I need to keep on failing and just realizing that yes I need to do something about that not just oh no I'm going to draw something that looks rubbish don't do it <laughs> oh god why do I always find myself there um. I don't know, but I need to fix it, and once I do, we will be a drawing master, hopefully, <laughs> I don't know how likely that'll be in the coming year, but yeah, I hope, yeah, I hope I get something pretty uh, nice, and uh, honestly, I do, I do think, like, I have appealing, um, appealing drawings now, it just takes way too long and too much effort to get there, and, I mean, it could totally be improved, like, obviously, so, yeah, um, I guess, I guess, I guess the, uh, the plan for the end of the year would be to 
to make it more appealing and efficient and actually be able to uh yeah do it efficiently that's that's what i was getting at <laughs> yeah that was really that um I, I think that's the last point for today as well um I, what oh yeah pixel gun <laughs> Um, I guess, yeah, Pixel Gun. Was there anything else? Um, no, I mean, I could think of other stuff on the way, but yeah, um, completely cool down on that now. I'm really pissed, by the way. <laughs> you can hear it in my voice. Um, just the the last lottery, the last lottery on Pixel Gun. The uh, I actually tried on it, and it was so it was so bad. The timing was just awful. Oh my god. Oh no, it was, yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was the day I went, went out to the city that the lottery ends. And uh, in the morning, I grinded, well, the day before and in the morning, I grinded uh, for keys to get the rest of the weapons. And in the morning, I got my last, my last, uh, my last fighter's chest to get the super chest, if you, if you know what Pixel Gun is. And, um, like, oh, for, oh my goodness. For like so I have this weapon with like a hundred uh two hundred and twenty five parts and in the fighter's chest you always get twenty five parts for a random weapon well you don't always but you get uh you get if you get parts for a weapon it's twenty five parts and so I was I kept on opening that hoping that oh right so I'll just get the twenty five parts for the for the weapon that I actually need it for but no I just kept on getting twenty five parts for the other weapon which I needed a hundred parts for which I could have just totally opened like a a winner's chest for to get that i don't know why i just kept on opening fighters um i mean it, it was more it, it, i think it was more efficient and also i got i think uh, was it extra stuff in the fighters chest that i needed i don't think there was anything left um but oh, i was actually quite lucky that i didn't get much cosmetics then i don't think i would have had like as much uh I, I don't think i would have actually gotten like any other weapons but well, actually, no, I would have, but it's still... But it, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because... Once I opened the last uh, novel... St uh, in the fi uh, fighter's chest, which, like, for, like, ten fighter's chests, I didn't get the stupid 25 parts for the weapon that needed it. And so I was opening the super chest, and I was like, alright, oh, there's no way. And it lands on 150 parts for the weapon I needed 25 parts with. And I have this other weapon that needs... Uh, 100 parts... And that was the that was what I was planning to get. I mean, <laughs> in hindsight, you don't plan to get something in a lottery, but but it could have it, it was a possibility, and but no, it gave me the worst possible outcome. It didn't even give me any anything like anything. Oh, well, I mean, could have given me a skin, which I was also sort of expecting, which I would have not even been too mad about because it's not it's it wasn't like a possibility. There wasn't a possibility that I could have gotten the could have gotten the uh the uh parts for the other weapon if i got the skin i would have just been like okay so that's just that uh, i'm not really that disappointed but it gave it oh my goodness and so and so i got this weapon on like th that needed like 25 parts i got that at like 325 parts and just i couldn't do anything i couldn't do anything left and uh, posted on posted on reddit which i wasn't expecting to get any any uh, traction, but it actually got about as much as it normally does, which is a bit weird. And I, I try, I wanted to trade chests with people. Oh my god! And this is also a blunder. Um, I, I asked on the Reddit to trade chests with someone, and no one, no one replied because no one wanted to trade chests. And um, on the, because I was desperate in clan chat, I also asked, but but then I forgot. I forgot I asked in clan chat, but I kept on checking the Reddit whether someone wants wanted to trade chests. But, and when I get home, when I got home at, like, when there was, like, two hours left of the lottery, somebody in the clan wanted to trade chests, and, um, yeah, they, but by the time I got home, they've already spent their gems. So if I actually checked earlier, I could have actually gotten it. But, the, yeah, basically, the, the, uh, the big, the big, uh, trash part about this is that it was, like, the last weapon left. I literally had, like, one weapon to go to collect the whole, uh, to collect the whole set and it was a, it, lo it actually looked kind of cool i don't know uh, it was combat fireplace and like the gun doesn't look really cool but it's uh it's got a it's got a cool like uh kill um animation it's got a, like a weird kill animation which i'm not sure if it happens with uh, every other gun from the lottery but i don't know i just uh 
I would have still, I just, I need the coupons, okay, I spent, I spent another 500 coupons on, on this lottery, uh, on the, well, the last lottery, because I wanted the Xmas Destroyer, and I opened, like, 10, 10, uh, winner's chests, and didn't give me it, I don't know what, what was up with that, it just, it just wouldn't give me any helpful weapons from the winner's chest, and it just, I don't know, I had to buy it with coupons, it was awful, um, but, but, let me talk, let me, let me tell you about this lottery, alright, it is literally the worst thing to ever happen, because literally, every single weapon in lottery is just trash, is it, like, it was like a weird voting lottery, like, people on, on the Pixel Gun Discord could vote for what, what, uh, weapons they wanted in this lottery, and, uh, I don't know what happened, but they just voted, like, apparently the most useless 2018 weapons got voted into this lottery and and they added back ultimatum which i bought for like ten dollars just like a, like a month or two ago and i don't know like like bringing back ultimatum like as just in general is a bit of a a bit of a insane thing but i i really thought i had faith right i don't know i guess i'm kind of like greedy for this but I'd really just, uh, I don't know, it just, sound, it just sounds like such a stupid decision, because I was just kind of, I was getting sick of, like, getting spammed by ultimatum users in matches anyway, and they just brought it back, and I thought, right, I thought they were going to remove it, because they, on the Discord, they literally told us, oh, it's not going, it's not coming back, it's not coming, because everybody was wishing for it, but then it came back, and then they were like, oh, no, it's, it's useless anyway because for some reason they don't play their own game or something. What have I done? Oh no, quickly, put that stuff away. Oh no, I've got no, I've got no blocks. Oh dear. Okay, I'm going to have to use this to block it up. Oh, it's spreading. Um, no, 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 stop. Okay, I think it stops there. Um, can you please just end? I, I really wouldn't like you to... Oh my god, this is just a, a mess. But yeah, um, apparently, well, they're not going to remove it, but apparently... Um, it's only, like, its drop rate is, like, 1 out of 10. Like, you, I thought, like, at least they would make it, like, completely impossible to get because that sounds like a dev thing to do. What on earth? But they they completely just, they just made it a common thing now. They just, like, made it so that as long as you try to get it, you will get it. Which, I mean, I would have grinded really hard for this lottery if it wasn't for that I already had the ultimatum, but I never, I didn't, there was no way of knowing that, oh, they're just gonna make it come back, and then, and make it so easy to get, oh my god, but yeah, now that, now that this lottery's out, and it's trash, literally every weapon is trash, I don't want anything, I'm just calming down on to pick the gun, which is good, um, I am still doing the daily, uh, tasks on the, uh, battle pass, I mean, I, I also play it casually a bit, um, played it today, it was kind of more, because my aim's so bad, don't know what's happening, my, oh wait, no, it's because of my nails, isn't it, <laughs> yeah, every single time, I, I don't know why, I haven't cut my nails since, like, I don't know, like, a month ago or something, and I've just left them long, even though I'm not, like, that kind of guy, I'm just, I guess I've just not been bothered with it, even though I totally could have done it yesterday, I was thinking about doing it, I just didn't, and now my nails are super long, so my aim's always trash in, in a, first person shooters honestly i'm uh, considering swapping pixel gun out for critical ops because then i could actually sort of play it casually and not have to be roped into all this grinding nonsense but i'm still into the game i'm still i'm still after it i'm still uh, i'm still addicted it's a uh, quite sad but it's what we have to deal with for the next for the next uh for the next few months oh god because, uh, like, I don't know how long this is going to last, because I've never been this involved in a game before. It's never been this harsh. I've never gotten into a game this deep. And I don't know, like, this feels like, this feels like me, like, discovering, like, my, my, like, dragon sona or something. This, this feels like me discovering that I, I want, I like drawing or something. <laughs> me playing Pixel Gun, like, this is just my, like, the, like, my, uh, my spirit game or something. I don't know. I, oh, I really hope it isn't because it's gonna it's gonna enrage me. I can't play this game for my life, but it's just uh, it's just uh, it, I will see where it takes us. Nowhere good, I assume, but it's it's uh, it's what it is. It's what it is at the moment, which uh, is a bit bad, but I have to deal with it. So 
whatever, uh, what you're gonna do, you can't just quit now, it's, uh, it's gone too far, um, but yeah, apart from that, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, yeah, well, one, ashamed I didn't finish up the set from last lottery, and two, finally I can get a rest on that game, and, uh, get arrested on that game, and, yeah, um, not have to bother, not have to bother so much, uh, anymore, and actually be able to spend time, um, finishing up my, finishing up my, uh, well, not finishing up, doing more art, that's good, but yeah, look at that, all the stuff is gone, and I assume that is one hour, exactly, and, uh, yeah, um, anything new, oh yeah, yeah, I, I wanted to show you guys around, yeah, at the start, I showed you guys my nether, because, uh, last video was weird, I don't, I don't know what happened, I was expecting it, because I, I finished recording, and I went to the app that was recording it, and nothing, nothing saved, so I'm like, oh, I might have been recording it on a, on just the iOS screen recorder, which just saves, like, half an hour after you, after you finish recording, but that didn't save, so I just ended up with no footage, and, yeah, I don't know, it felt kind of weird, because, I, I don't know, it felt like, uh, I felt like for New Year's I should have had something that that wasn't so like half-assed. I guess I th it felt wrong. I felt like I needed to like do another take just to just to have something in the background. But I guess it really doesn't matter. So it doesn't. Yeah, I I, I know it doesn't matter now. So yeah, it's fine. But yeah, it's still a shame that there's no visual except for just Minecraft on on screen. Um, but what you're gonna do? It's what it is, and uh. It was a good commentary, I think. Um, but yeah, I showed you guys the nether at the start, which is what I showed last time. The end of the tunnel, which I don't know. Why, why am I like saying this like people actually watching this? The end of the tunnel, which I like did today. I'm pretty... Uh, it looks pretty good. It's a grayed out bit. And oh yeah, you could probably tell which parts I was talking about last video when I was talking about the, the lips, the gums and teeth. It was uh, quite awful. But if you don't focus on it too hard, then it's quite good. But, as yeah, you can see, um, my villagers, they, uh, they reappeared out of nowhere. No, I, I basically just had to, um, bring a few zombies down here and then cure them. And then, and, and then, um, when I was, like, trading with them, I basically did a, I got, um, I got some bread from the farmers to, like, just, uh, just to advance their, uh, their, their levels. And I didn't need the bread, so I just gave it back to them. But then suddenly, they started getting super horny. And then, like, four villagers turned into, like... Well, just, it wasn't even four, because two of them was left out. I, like, two of them was, wasn't even wasn't even breeding. But, like, two of them just, like, had, like, seven babies. And so I, I was just, oh, right, that's pretty convenient. And so I just... I just got I just got everyone I needed and then it was like the the easiest villager like uh villager uh breeding ever it was the easiest villager uh replenishment of my life <laughs> but um oh no why do I have a piece of stone on me I'm gonna have to go place that randomly yeah, down there but yeah um it's just super weird how uh how it was that easy, because I, I didn't think it would work, I didn't think it would happen, because, right, um, there was no doors, I thought, like, to, for villagers to breed, there must be, like, doors and stuff, and, like, an actual village, but apparently, they just do it if you give them some food, and then I ended up with this, there was, like, four more villagers, but I didn't need them, so they were slaughtered mercilessly, and, uh, yeah, everyone's back, which I was still a bit skeptical about, like, oh, was it, is it even worth it, because apparently there's this glitch going around in Bedrock, which is just appalling, that, that, uh, like, your name-tagged creatures could disappear, and I'm, I am, like, I am just, uh, I'm devastated that, uh, burr, 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 spyglass pink sheep is no more, but what can you do, I mean, I could totally just, like, like, uh, like, employ, like, an in, imposter sheep or something, but I don't know, I, there's really no point, I, mm, I, 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 they were, they were, they were uh, around for a while, and that was good, so that was the end of their life, just like the Spyro fanfics, rip, burp, 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 the spyglass, pink sheep, I will, I will miss you dearly, but, um, yeah, um, 
And now I'm actually making backs up, backups of the world so that, so that they don't just randomly disappear. Oh, look at this. I made a, I made a little lobby. Oh god, how much time I tried to... I spent so long trying to research how to make half beds. Because if I got this half of the bed and just like repeated it so that it didn't look like a bed, I, this would have been such a lovely bench. And this is just like the wa the elevator waiting room. I think this is pretty cool. Um, just if you if you're like sitting here waiting for the elevator to come back up from the very bottom of the bottom of the um whole whole basement. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like it's gonna be utilized a lot now. Well, not really, not the elevator. But if I ever do use the elevator, the waiting room is gonna be utilized a lot more now, seeing as. It's going all the way down to negative 60, so that's just brilliant. Um, but yeah, uh, apart from that, uh, I've also made some more farms over this way. Oh, the boat, the boat glitches back where you crash and the boat goes like a, like a, what's it, like, like an asphalt 8 Rex. <laughs> um, but yeah, um... Also, whilst listening to them fanfics, I was building some more farms, doing doing a bit more farming, if this world would wouldn't mind loading. Um, and uh, oh yeah, I also made this smelter, which is literally just to get a bunch of glass, um, which you could imagine what I what farm I used it for, is this bee farm over here. And I was originally not gonna, I was originally gonna use like the materials over there to build this bee farm. Is it still in working order? I, 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 this stuff might be broken. Also, I don't, I don't understand bees. Like, why, why are they so bad? Okay, wow, the minecart's actually working. This is miraculous, dude. Minecarts, my minecart hoppers, my minecart hoppers just disappear way too much on bedrock. I don't know what, what, what's up with that. But um, yeah, these guys aren't these guys supposed to like go in their hives at night, like. I've made this, like, two blocks wide as well, and you can see them, like, flying around in there. They're not, like, stuck or anything, but they just don't budge. They don't even want to, they don't even, like, because, like, they're passing their hives. They just never go in. I have to, like, release them and then let them back in for them to go into their hives, which is weird. I don't get bees. I don't think it's very efficient, but if I did AFK there, I'm pretty sure it would work, so whatever. Um, it's fine, but yeah, uh... Apart from that, I guess I'll show you around the nether a bit more. If I showed you guys, oh yeah, I've shown you guys the uh these nether these nether things these nether uh uh highway support support beams my lovely support beams uh I'm I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like fix them a bit um afterwards because they look a bit stupid I'm I'm not sure why but yeah um back here today I actually did a uh I did the uh, insides of this, uh, this little, uh, tube thing, I'm not sure why, why, I've, why it's a tube thing, but, um, yeah, you can see, made a nice little garden sort of thing, weird thing, um, basically it's like the two different biomes from bottom and up, and up, and, uh, I just thought it would be good because, um, if you fall down here, which, uh, has happened with my friend when he joined in randomly, uh, you can easily just get out because you got, you got uh you got vines on beset on all sides. It's uh it's nice. So yeah. Um and apart from that, I'm pretty sure that's all. So uh <laughs> anything else? Yeah. Um that's so that's really that. So um next time, next time. I was planning to make this video tomorrow actually, but yeah, well that was the plan, but I just suddenly got a uh, a random feeling of depression and <laughs> decided to express it on here. And now it's better, I think. Um but time to put Eurobeat back on and fall back into that depression because that's just how it works that's just how it be I love feeling sad feeling sad is my favorite really though honestly I don't know why <laughs> but yeah that's that's that that's uh that's all it is that's all it is today and um yeah see you next time I guess I don't know how I end up end off this stuff